Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to another Call of Duty Vanguard video. Today we are back with another episode of Blueprint Review. This is episode 134. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Splatter Machine bundle, which was added into Call of Duty Vanguard. I'm not really sure exactly when, but this is one of the better bundles in the store, honestly. Uh, to be completely honest, a lot of the bundles in the store are pretty cool, except a lot of the blueprints here in the store are bundles that are just one blueprint. And I guess I could do the math where I make it so that I do two bundles a week and they just are equivalent to the cost of one um, high-end bundle. But I just think that it is just easier to do bundles that have two blueprints in it. Um, and these two looked, these two specific ones look pretty fun and they are also really, really high tier. So I thought that I would cover them here in this video. So um, here's the Splatter Machine bundle. It has the Blood Crow blueprint for the M for the MG42, which you guys can see right here. Then we have ourselves the Grave Song blueprint for the Combat Shotgun. The Till Death Sticker, which you guys can see right there. The Headache Weapon Charm. The Dead Man Flying Calling Card. The Fresh Kill Emblem. And then finally, we have two sprays with the High Five and the Pin Out Girl. Now, actually, I really like this calling card a lot. It looks pretty dang awesome. And I can definitely see myself using it quite a bit. And then we also have our cell, and, but today in this video, we're going to be covering the Blood Crow uh, blueprint here for the MG42, and I'll see you guys all in the inspect. All right, guys, and welcome into the game. You're taking a look here at the Blood Crow blueprint for the MG42, of course. We also have ourselves the weapon charm on here, and you can't really see it that well until I do the reload animation, and man, what a weird, what a weird, weird, weird weapon charm that is now unfortunately you can't really see the reload too well on this thing but here's just what the blueprint looks like in game as you're using it um but anyways hopefully we can do the gameplay and do pretty well i do like the mg42 i think it's one of the better lmgs in the game so i'm not sure we'll have too much difficulty getting a gameplay and i'll see you guys all there all right guys so welcome into the game you're playing some domination here on crap here on the map pa dang it i guess that was just in an, an unavoidable death situation there I thought we, we might have been able to get out of it alive, but fortunately it was not meant to be. Um, yeah, we're playing some Domination here on the map Paradise, which is actually a pretty dang good DLC map. A lot of people don't give Vanguard a chance anymore, which I get, because, you know, the developers have kind of ruined their game on their own, but... Hello. By being absent since the launch of Season 1. But Paradise is actually a pretty dang good map. So hopefully we can do well. I think this map is kind of on levels on par with maps like Eagle's Nest and other good maps in the game, which is pretty awesome. Now, hopefully we can do well. We did join a little bit late here into this domination game, but that shouldn't be a problem. Nice. Let's see if this guy comes back. You gonna come back? Hello? Nice. There we go. There's another. Oh. Okay. That guy's gone. Thought there might have been someone. Oh, that was close. That was close. Go ahead and call in that recon plane. I am rocking the really cool calling card. As well as the emblem and the... Oops, and the weapon charm. Okay. Um, okay, there's a lot of people I th that are on the other side of the map. There's a guy there. Nice. If it's, It feels like you go through that 50 rounds really, really, really quickly. Nice. All right, let's go. Pretty good start here. Pretty good start here. Uh oh. No, gosh darn it, man. I heard the combat shotgun going off, and I knew that I was in a lot of trouble. I was just hoping we wouldn't. I was just hoping we could have turned around in time to get the kill, but <clears throat> it is what it is. Nice. Okay, let's see where all these guys are at. 
Thank you. Nice. Good job, teammate. Okay, now we have to get back on we have to get back on B. I think they're spawning over here though. Hmm. Maybe not. I'm trying to figure out where all these enemies are. <clears throat> I think I don't know. I have no idea where these guys are at, to be honest with you. Well, capturing A is a good hint. See if we can get him. Come on. Where are you at, enemies? Do you want some of this MG42? Where? Where the heck? Where the heck is everyone? They have all six players. I guess they're probably just over here. I would. Nice. Beautiful, man. Let's go. And they're taking B again. Great. Great, great, great. The lead's ours. Hold on, Baker is lost. No, nope, that's not gonna work. Dang it, man. <clears throat> it was a good play until it wasn't a good play. Then, unfortunately, we just, yeah, you, you just don't really stand a chance to the bar. You, should, you probably should just not even shoot when you're playing against a bar because. It's time to kill just so fast that it's it's honestly going to be very, very hard to win any gunfight, but okay, these guys should be coming from this way now. One. Yes, man, let's go. We're doing pretty well here. Pardon me. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but I wanted to make sure I looked away from the microphone when I did that, just in case it came out really loud. But I am still getting over my cold, um, so that's part of why my commentary is a little bit not as energetic as usual. Also, I've just been going through some things lately in my personal life, So, and YouTube is honestly a great way to kind of distract myself from it. Not that that's, I'm not really sure how good of a thing that is, but... It just helps a lot, so I'm going to continue to make videos for you guys every single day, but again, if the commentary is a little bit not as exciting exciting as it usually is, then you guys know why. It's just, you know, I've been going through some things the past couple days since New Year's Eve. Well, actually, probably before that, honestly. Just had a really kind of bummer of a holiday. I was sick on Christmas and then, um, you know, got some other, you know, personal stuff going on on New Year's so it's it's just been kind of a bummer of a holiday season just kind of looking looking towards you know the new year and stuff looking away from the first the first day or two of it so you know just warning you guys and ahead of time hopefully I should be you know hopefully I should be doing better in the next couple of days so I can bring back that really energetic commentary but just for now if you guys see a little bit of not quite as energetic commentary than you know why. But again, I'm getting through it. I'm doing okay. Um, so, no need to worry. Also, I did want to talk about this during the gameplay because we are doing pretty well. So, um, for those of you guys who don't know, there was a huge, huge disaster in the state that I live in over on New Year's Eve. Um, you know, the huge wildfire that took over most of that took over most of, you know, an area very, very close to where I live. Luckily, by, you know, a huge, huge stroke of luck, no one that I know directly was super heavily impacted by it. You know, some people, I mean, there are people who, that I know, not on a very, very close level, but that I do know from my, from my childhood and my life that were directly affected by it, which is just really sad. If you guys watched the news on New Year's Eve and saw all that stuff happen, it was really, really sad. Um, so, in the description, if I can find the link, I will 100% put it in the description to Red Cross or whatever relief 
link I can find because it's just a really, really horrible thing. Um, so I will leave that link down below in the description if I can find it. Again, it is 100% going to be a real link. I'm not going to try and scam you guys or anything like that. Um, it should be a full-on Red Cross link with .org at the end of it, just so that you guys know for a fact that it's real. Um, but if you guys could donate anything, I think it would be really, really appreciated. Um, I, I donated some stuff of my own. I donated jackets and, and all that to those people. But overall, I was really sad. And again, I do apologize for the sad commentary. But you guys know I'm always going to be keep it 100 with you guys and tell you what's going on and, you know, tell you how it is. So, um, but again, pretty good gameplay there. I did have a lot of fun there rocking around here with the MG42. It's always nice to be able to talk about things, especially when, you know, things aren't as awesome as usual. Um, but, you know, I'm pretty sure that was a that was a pretty good gameplay for you guys here with this blooper. The, as I said before, the MG42 is pretty good. Yeah, we got a five and a five point. 0.29 KD, 37 and 7 there. But again, I will leave that link down below for you guys if, in case any of you guys want to. Again, there's no pressure at all. And it will be a real link. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway because I think that it is a really, really nice thing to do. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm not going to go ahead and cut away because we can just jump right into the review now of this blueprint. And in the next episode of this of this little mini series with this bundle, I will show you guys the sprays. But for now, we're just going to focus on the weapon itself. Um, so starting off here with the first attachment. Again, here's a look at the Blood Crow Blueprint for the MG42. We have ourselves for the muzzle, the G28 Compensator. For the barrel, we have ourselves the VDD 680mm 31M uh, barrel. Then for the optic, we have ourselves the 35 x Rifle Scope. For the stock, we have ourselves the Krausnik s91 mg uh, stock and for the underbarrel we have ourselves the m1941 hand stop for the magazine we have ourselves the eight millimeter clouser 50 round mag for the ammo type we have frangible rear grip is the rubber grip and then finally for the proficiency we have disable and for the kit we have ourselves reach so now that that is all out of the way we can go ahead and talk about the aesthetic the practicality and the longevity of this blueprint so starting off here first off with the aesthetic, the aesthetic is, of this blueprint isn't too bad. I mean, it, it's not like the greatest blueprint ever. It definitely goes really heavily with the theme of it. And in a way, I do like it quite a bit. It looks like this weapon has been right into the battle. Like, it looks like this weapon's been right into the battlefield in a gunfight where, you know, very, very close quarters with the, with, you know, with the blood and stuff on it. Um, but aesthetically, it's not anything super, super crazy, um, but it's not. It's not terrible. It looks like a real weapon, though, so I think it's definitely going to be average and get a 5 out of 10. Now, as far as the practicality goes, I honestly really like this class for this weapon. I think it's pretty dang solid. I mean, all of the attachments are really good. The only attachments that I'm not really too big of a fan of is probably this optic. Again, you know, with you know playing multiplayer, you don't really need to have a 3.5 times sight. I mean, especially with my play style, I probably would have preferred either a 2 times or maybe a monocular reflector or you know something like that that's a little bit of a closer range sight maybe even this would be good but i mean i i don't really use the you know i don't really use those type of sights so you know it's not the greatest attachment um, but everything else in the class is pretty good i mean the proficiency and the kit are really up to personal preference whether you de um, determine those or not or care about those or not but disable is a pretty good one adds suppression which means that it's going to make the enemies a little bit more disoriented. So as far as the class goes, I think it's a pretty solid class. Again, just some minor complaints, so I'm going to give, go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 as well. And then last but not least, what is the longevity of this blueprint? Well, personally, I don't have this blueprint fully ranked up yet, so I can definitely see myself using this blueprint after this video. Um, you know, the, I do like the ammo quite a bit, but maybe once I get this one, I'll probably switch to that or something. Can't really, not really super, super sure. But, you know, it's, again, I can definitely see myself using it. And again, one of the greatest things about this blueprint is that it has the greatest barrel. So the aesthetic is going to stay really nice. This stock is pretty good as well. So you're not going to hurt the aesthetic either. And if I get rid of this ammo type, it doesn't hurt the aesthetic that much. And of course, the proficiency and the kit, I can change those anytime. And same with the ammo, and it won't change the aesthetic as well. So as far as the longevity goes, I'll probably be giving this a... 
probably an 8 out of 10, I would say, because I can definitely see myself using this a lot after when I, once I get to ranking up the MG42 because it's a cool blueprint, it's unique, and no one really has it. So factoring that all in, this blueprint is going to be getting a 6.6 out of 10, which is a very, very common on final rating quite a bit. Just in case you guys were wondering how I get those ratings, I'm pretty sure most of you guys can figure it out. But I do add the aesthetic practicality and longevity together, and then divide them by three, and then the average score of all of those is what the rating for the blueprint is. So that is going to do it for this video. And again, I think a 6.6 .6 out of 10. 6.6 out of 10 is fair if this if this was a really cool aesthetic i think it could definitely be higher and maybe if they just had a class with a better optic it could be could be pretty high as well but again i think it's still a pretty good blueprint i mean getting a 5kd gameplay isn't something to shake a stick at here with the skill-based matchmaking and everything like that so overall i think it's a pretty dang good blueprint but anyway guys that is going to do it for this next episode of blueprint review hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you guys did like reading is always appreciated if you want to check out any of my other previous blueprint review videos they will all be linked down below in the playlist and linked in the description as well as my previous episodes will be at the end of the video as well and if you want to check out um that link down below in the description again i would really really appreciate it because it hit very very close to home i didn't know if i was going to have to evacuate it, it was just a very very scary situation and again i am so lucky but there's a lot of people who weren't so lucky so again if you if you are feeling generous then it would really mean a lot to me but anyways i'll see you guys all another call of duty vanguard video very very soon <laughs>